So there's nothing quite as charming as firing up a beautiful single cylinder thumper like this Hunter 350. In this episode, I'm gonna take a closer look at the Hunter 350. We're gonna talk about its specs, but mainly I wanna talk about its comparison to the Interceptor 650, its big brother. So anyway, let's dig in and talk about the Royal Enfield Hunter 350. The Royal Enfield Hunter 350 is $7,590 right away. This is in Australian dollars. That is crazy affordable for this style of bike. Three year unlimited kilometre warranty and is LAMS approved. So if you're on your learner's permit or your P plates, this is the ultimate urban bike for you. 349cc, 20.2 brake horsepower at 6100 revs, 27 newton metres of torque at 4000 revs. All made it to a five-speed constant mesh gearbox, electronic fuel injected, and the weight comes in at 181 kilograms. Now the front suspension has 130 mils of travel, and the rear suspension has six adjustable settings. The front brakes 300 mils with a two-piston floating caliper. The rear brakes 270 mils with a single-piston caliper. The wheels are 17-inch alloy, and the seat height is 790 millimeters. Face it, the Hunter 350 is going to sell by the bucket loads in Australia. It is the ultimate lambs bike, it's retro cool, uh, it's a simple engine, it's got enough power to get around the city, it can do freeway speeds if needed, but is it the best way to spend your money? Let's talk about the comparison between the Interceptor 650 and the Hunter 350. So the Hunter is retro cool. So is the Interceptor. The Hunter is customizable. You could create Cafe Racer, Tracker, uh, Scrambler, anything out of this. You can do that on the Interceptor as well. The Hunter is LAMS approved, so you can buy this on your learner's permits and your P plates and uh, have a great time. You can do that on the Interceptor as well. It's affordable, so is the Interceptor. And it's the ultimate urban bike, as is the Interceptor. Now I'm certainly not bagging the Hunter 350 at all. I think it's an amazing bike for its purpose. It's absolutely exceptional in the urban environment. And to be honest, I'd love one of these in the garage too. It's lightweight, you can move it around with ease. And that little 350 or 349cc thumper just sounds like an absolute peach when you're trundling along the road. But let's take a deeper look into the comparison between the, the Interceptor and this. Now I've got my cheat notes for this one. So seat height on the Hunter is 790 millimeters, 804 for the Interceptor. So the Interceptor is a little bit taller. The weight on this is 181 kilograms, 202 for the Interceptor. 349cc, 648cc on the Interceptor. Now this is where things change. Now bear in mind, this bike here, the Hunter 350, is 7,590 right away. The Interceptor is about $4,000 more, but you're getting almost double the bike for that $4,000. So 20 brake horsepower on the Hunter, 47 brake horsepower on the Interceptor. So you've almost got double the horsepower for four grand more. Newton meters of torque, 27, 52.3 on the Interceptor. Again, almost double the amount of torque as well. Five-speed gearbox. On the Interceptor, there's a six-speed gearbox. So you've got that extra gear uh, for highway speed as well. This is a single cylinder engine. The Interceptor is a twin, a parallel twin. So again, I'm not bagging this bike. This is an ultimate bike. and. I really think that anyone who buys this won't regret it. But 
for $4,000 extra in Australia, you get double the bike that looks just as cool, it's just as customizable, and well, it's just a big brother. And you can still have it on your learner's permits as well. The only reason I've done the comparison is because I want to give you the most information I can. I'm a massive fan of Royal Enfield. I love what they're doing in the industry now. They're really bringing the best small capacity bikes to the marketplace worldwide, but particularly here in Australia. And I think that's great. Everyone's going for bigger and better these days. And I don't think bigger and better is always the way to go. When, if you're in an urban environment or in a country town, doesn't matter where you are to be fair, small capacity certainly has a place in the marketplace, even for the advanced riders as well. So. Keep that in mind, the Hunter 350, it's a spot on bike. Would I buy it? Yes, absolutely, 100% I would buy it. It's comfortable, the body position's great. If I had the spare $4,000, would I buy the Interceptor instead of this? Yes, not because it's a better bike, just because it's a bit more versatile. You can do highway speeds better and you're less likely to outgrow it over time. Anyway, Royal Enfield Hunter 350, get down to your Royal Enfield deals here in Australia, guys. Test ride, you're gonna love it. This engine is amazing, and uh, yeah, I can't speak highly enough of it. The Hunter 350. Thanks for watching, guys. See you on the next video.